Dr. Marley of Pine Hill School here are your daily notices for Lahina, Monday the 6th of March. Let's start by saying the Karakia together. Whakataka te hau ki te uru, whakataka te hau ki te tonga, ki a mā kine kine ki uta, ki a mā tarutara ki tai, e hi ake ala te atakura, he tio, he huka, he hauhu. Ti hei mauri ora. Now Mrs. Wellwood would like to share a few words. Tēnā koutou tamariki mā and welcome to Monday. Thank you everybody for your Mufti Day and donations for our raising of money for Cyclone Gabriel. We have raised $1,000. That is because of you. I want everyone to give themselves a great big paki paki. Fantastic. And since the last time I was on TV station, I want to commend everybody on how they are wearing the Pine Hall School uniform. I'm loving seeing our uniform worn with pride and correctly. Keep it up. Today, we're here to talk about the rubbish bins in your classroom. And I have Timoth and Kevin to help with that. So every classroom in Pine Hall School has two rubbish bins. And we're going to talk about the green rubbish bin first. Over to you, Timoth. Let's talk about the green bin. Can you hold that up? We should all have a bin that looks like this in the classroom. And what is this bin for, please, Timoth? <clears throat> Anything that can be recycled. Fabulous. So this is for anything that can be recycled. For example? Paper. Paper. Paper can definitely be recycled. And if you turn that towards the camera, you will see that that's mostly what is in this bin. Paper. Also, um, glass can be recycled and can go in there. I can't think of what we have that might go in there that's glass, perhaps a glass jar, for example, or glass bottle that uh, also a teacher might be using the bin for. Hard plastics can go in there as well. And of course, cardboard can go in there. So we do need to check in our classrooms that we are only putting recycled things in there. And this one's looking pretty good, although there is something I'm going to get out of here, uh, Timoth, that I can see shouldn't be in here, and that is a pencil shaving. Pencil shavings go into Kevin's bin. Kevin's got the blue bin. That's the other bin that is in your classroom. And the blue bin, Kevin, is for anything that is doesn't go inside the green bin or can't be recycled. Excellent. So what are some examples? Like tissues. Tissues go in this one, not this one, because they could contaminate the things we're trying to recycle. What else might go in there? Pencil shavings. Pencil shavings. And I've noticed um, some people have been helping me pick up some wrappers that have been left uh, behind or fallen out of lunch boxes, this is the bin you would put the wrappers into if you've been asked to put that into a classroom bin. So let's, I'll help you, this is a big bin, we'll turn it towards the camera and I see lots of tissues, pencil shavings and things, food scraps that have gone in here. Thank you so much. Just a little note on that, your food scraps need to be going home with you in your lunch box. So all your lunch rubbish that you bring to school needs to go back home in your lunch box and you can put that in the correct bins at home. So that is your challenge this week Pine Hall School. Looking at what goes into your classroom bins and putting the correct rubbish in the correct bin. Let's look after our school and have a fabulous week of learning ahead. Thank you for watching. Have a Pine Hill day using the Pine Hill way. Enohara kakite no.